Ja. Jesus Christ. What? I'm right here, dude. I'm right here. Oh. With you. I'm right here with you. I'm about to sweat. Is it going? Eh? Yeah, bro. We're live. <laughs> Wait, can you oh. hear me? Yeah, you can. Yeah, okay. dude, we're live. We're live, bro. Keep an eye on me, though. See if I get out of frame, dude. How am I, how do I look right now? Pretty good, man. It looks pretty, like, close, though. Yeah, it's nasty, dude. We gotta let the people, like, see the blemishes. See all our faults for what they are. What's good, dude? Absolutely. Welcome to the Am I Eh yeah. podcast. This is wild, dude. These headphones are fucking blowing my mind right now, dude. I know, dude. I feel High like we, we went into another dimension, dude. You know what I'm saying? Interstellar pussy. Yeah. Dude. Imagine fucking a chick in outer space, dude. Yeah. Inst- Can't even imagine it, dude. Instantly yeah. die. I don't even know what it would be like, dude, <laughs> so it's hard to imagine. I think I feel like you get mad dehydrated. In space? Or just like fucking a chick in general? No, I mean like a sp- in space. Oh, yeah, for sure. It'd be wicked, like dry mouth. Yeah. Well, I mean, you would just be like floating. <laughs> Wait, are you in a, do you imagine in a spacesuit? I imagine just, uh, ass naked, but with just the helmet. After on. I said that, though, I was imagining me with like a like a fatty, though. Yeah. So she's like holding it down. So we're actually on like Mars. That'd be sick. So no, we're like, she, we're like be level because of her weight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like she's on top. Yeah. Like, yeah dude. <laughs> fine. Dude, you could fuck fatties like no worries yeah. about getting hurt. Yeah. Getting yeah. like no personal injury, injury liability. Might have to sign a few waivers, dude, before you hop on the. Uh, Good old spaceship, I'm not, but uh, express. Yeah, that's what I'm calling it from now on, dude. Yeah, I mean, dude, why would you bring a hottie into space? Would definitely bring a fatty for yeah, sure. You'd have to, because you want someone that like appreciates being there. Yeah, this set is chi- blowing my mind, <laughs> <laughs> dude. This Mass- is like the exact opposite of what we usually do. I know. We're like usually sitting back with like terrible posture. Yeah. And now, which is like we're like you know, sitting, up. sitting up straight, dude, with headphones on. Yeah, we're like okay. we're like intellectually talking about fucking a fat yeah. chicken. I feel space. like I'm on like Joe Rogan right now, dude. <laughs> Just have nothing good to say, but nah, that'd be nasty, dude. If you asked Rogan about what he thought about fucking in space, he would have he'd be like, "Well, yeah, you can't." Do he would that. have some good points for sure. Yeah, yeah, but like nothing like talking about like G force and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like parsecs. Yeah, dude, that was uh. I was rewatching. Uh, have you ever seen Wild Wild Country? Is that the oh the one about the uh, cult? Yeah, it's about like a in Oregon. In Oregon, yeah, yeah, dude. The <laughs> the leader. He, you remember the part where you just like uh, he'll like bring like a bunch of hotties yeah. into like a private room and they'll do like rituals and stuff. Yeah, and then and, like they're not allowed to say like what they do. Yeah, you just kind of like let loose and just like do whatever you want, dude. Yeah. You ever think about like what you would do? <laughs> if i was that guy if you were in the room and they were like all right david oh. it's your turn like you yeah. had to you know <laughs> dude i'd probably start like helicoptering my dick really yeah and like <laughs> a- and like asking like yeah. really complex math questions to him right out of the gate yeah like, there would be no easing into it you just what's e equals <laughs> mc squared yeah dude i think i would uh I would probably wear like a white dress. Yeah. Have them play uh, "Let Her Cry" by Hootie and the Blowfish, and mm-hmm. just start throwing like hard-boiled eggs at people. Yeah. And like make them sit still. Yeah. Like they can't move. But wait, are they allowed to like, like you can go in and like do anything, or like he tells you <clears throat> what the ritual is? It's more of like a flow type thing. Oh. Yeah. That's so you nasty. might go in at the wrong time, but it's like that's what makes it kind of like intriguing. That is exciting, dude. We yeah. should start doing that in our apartment. Yeah, I mean, I have, like, a lot of valuables that I wouldn't really want <laughs> to put online. Just throwing, like, hard-boiled oh, yeah, eggs dude. at your MacBook. Financially, bro. that would be a huge... Uh, yeah. We could make our own room, though. Yeah, we should have, like, a flow room. Yeah. A ritual room. We should plan, like, a yard sale. Yeah. Afterwards. That's... For, like, all the damaged shit. Yeah. <laughs> Just have, like, fucking broken MacBooks. Yeah. Dude, I saw a documentary. It was about, like... I think it's called, like surviving death or something like that life after death it was all each episode was about like different aspects of death it was sick but there was one it was like there was like some like legit shit in it there was one lady who like claimed to perform seances and so she would like get everyone in this like dark room it'd be completely pitch black and then she would like go 
sit on this chair, like this throne and be like covered by a curtain and everyone else would be like sitting in a circle, like outside of it. And then she would just start talking in like a child's voice. And she was saying like, he's like on the other side and he's like leading us through this seance. Oh shit. And yeah. She would start fucking going, like yeah. weird shit. Dude. She said she got like burned by ectoplasm. She had like ectoplasm like comes out of her face. Holy shit. Yeah. It's the biggest scam of all time. Fuck, man. <laughs> so yeah, insane, dude. dude. I think I watched like two minutes of that with you one night, and then I went, I fell asleep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, there's no way, dude. There was some sick shit in it, dude. Yeah, I mean, but I think like, you just kind of have to like pick your poison. You yeah. know what I mean? Like <clears throat> figure out what you want to believe. Yeah. Some people were like, yo, I saw the fucking Antichrist. Yeah. And you're just like, all right, man. Like, It'd be mad funny to have a near-death experience and then come back and say you saw, like, ret- like you just saw Tom Cruise, like, jacking off on top of yeah. a fucking billboard. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, everyone's... <laughs> everyone's shit's different, dude. Like, that's... Like, you say, that's what that's what God is. That's what Christ is. Yeah, whatever, uh, whatever your thoughts are, like, uh, you know, yeah, that day, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Or like your, I mean, I feel like if you're like religious your whole life, you're probably gonna see some like crazy shit, dude. If you were religious your whole life, bro, yeah, dude. And then you died and it was Tom Cruise jacking off, <laughs> standing on top of a billboard. Yeah, it's a tough way to go out. Like, fuck. Yeah. Like I dedicated my whole life to this. Or you're like religious your whole life, and then you just see like the devil like banging your wife. Damn. Yeah. That's fucked. Like crazy. a like a Bang Bros video, but it's like the devil like banging your wife. Yeah, and you have to like you're like that dude who has you to have like to you have to it. watch it. Yeah, yeah. You're like in the corner of the room on like yeah. a chair. <laughs> yeah, that's what's fucked up about the whole like cult thing. It's like, dude, if you're in there with your wife who you're like in love with, yeah, you know, and some dude wants to like eat her out, you just have to like let him. Let it. I mean, I guess you could fight him off. You know, like what are the? I don't. There has to I be. I think like, they're some like. Sort it's of, not like, like. I don't think you show up day one. <laughs> And he tries to fuck your wife on day one. That would be crazy because yeah. you'd just be like, no. Yeah. I think it's like a slow, like, 10-year, like, he's, like, degrading your mental strength over the course of a decade. Yeah, and then yeah. finally, like, he's like, I have to. I have to. Yeah. <laughs> then he, then they start they start banging the dudes, too. Really? Yeah. They showed, fo- like, footage of that? No, I don't know about that cult specifically. Dude, apparently, people are saying, like, that yeah. cult I think you're just talking about like, porn right now. Yeah. No, I'm talking about cults, dude. <laughs> Could be the same thing. Yeah. I just meant like this specific uh, cult. This dude. Yeah. Because he's what the type his name of dude again? who the is. Fucking uh, Ashwagandha. No idea. <laughs> yeah. No idea. But he must have like brainwashed them and then kind of eased into it. <clears throat> yeah. And like, hey, listen, Jeff, like, I'm going to do some shit to your wife. Yeah. It's nothing big, man. Like, just nothing personal. Let it happen, dude. Like, just, just a business. sacrifice. Yeah. And he's like, whatever, man. Like, they all start doing that, dude. Yeah. I, I wonder if in the back of his head, though, he's kind of like, all right, like, I'm just trying to get with Jeff's wife. Yeah. And I have to find a way to, like. That's the thing. It's like a whole elaborate ruse to just, like, get to bang people's get pussy, wives. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, the dudes are just like, no. Nah, that should have been, like, the name of the documentary was yeah. Getting Pussy. Yeah. <laughs> like, all cap, all caps. <laughs> and, like, the, the S's with, like, money. It's like a money sign. <laughs> I love how, like, extreme, like, both sides were, though. Yeah. It was like it showed like the neighboring people, and it was just like yeah, they were like pissed. Yeah, just like eighty year olds were like they're different. They're fucking get neighbor. those fuckers out yeah, of here. Yeah, but those like people were right though. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, look at these racist neighbors, and they're like, nah, dude, this guy's like apparently though, like maybe he like wasn't that bad. He had some like good ideas, I think. Yeah, he was just trying to get pussy, man. That's what I got out of it. Yeah, he bought like a fucking thousand <clears throat> acres in Oregon just like just to strictly get pussy. Yeah, I mean, I would have to, if I was in, like, a, a town council meeting, like, the first question I would ask, I'd be like, what was the ratio? Oh, of like, you know, yeah, like, yeah, a fr- yeah, like a college party. Especially out of the gate, you know what I mean? Yeah. So he could have been, like, you know. If they were, like, it's 12 to 1, chicks to dudes, would you be like, all right. Case closed. You'd be yeah. like, yeah, I gotta let this slide. Yeah, let the jury decide, dude. What if they're like, dude, what if it was, like, this podcast, it's, like, a 50 to zero ratio dudes yeah i'd probably side on on you know on kicking them out i think that'd yeah. be like kind of nice dude if you just had all if you just had a cult none of that sex shit no like but just like boy just strictly brothers. strictly yeah brothers <clears throat> in arms dude yeah, yeah. and there's like a, a like a dip that would be the gayest shit ever asleep. dude yeah that would be sick yeah no that would be the problem. It would just get i mean that's basically like priesthood basically that's basically like ki- a, a bunch of kids end up getting fucked it's basically like a frat yeah. Without the parties. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's pretty, very, it's very bad. It would be terrible. Yeah. For sure. 
maybe like 12 mm-hmm. dudes. No, but if you kept it strict, yeah, like yeah. you set a precedent and you're like, no, no, like no gay shit, no mm-hmm. sex. Like we're just here to fucking just bro out and be boys. You should have <laughs> video game tournaments. Yeah. It'd be sick. That would be sick. You'd probably have to keep it like pretty low numbers, maybe yeah. like 12 dudes. It would go like, it would be one week before people started fucking each other. <clears throat> you think so? Like w- one week. One week, dude. Jesus. All of a sudden, everyone would just be fucking. Yeah. Dude. I mean, we, that would, yeah, that'd be another level. We would be in charge and we'd be like, this got out of hand really, yeah. like, really one quickly. One week in. Yeah. yeah. We, we like took out a loan and like invested all of our money in it and just blow yeah. like a million dollars and beat it. like. 12 percent interest <laughs> on a fucking loan <laughs> yeah dude i think that'd be i think that'd be good i think i think like i think people look down on certain religious things like fu- like the amish or like uh what are the, the latter-day saints they got a lot of good values dude for sure yeah man yeah i think uh religion is cool and shit man you know yeah it gives you something to live for yeah. it's just when they start like shoving it down your throat yeah they're like, oh, you fuck, you don't believe in this shit? Like, what are you fucking insane? Fuck and it's like, dude, just let me eat my fucking salad and fuck yeah. off, man. Like, yeah, what the fuck, yeah. One dude in my English class, dude, he was like, uh, he's like the super smart dude, and uh, like the teacher asked him what he thought about like Christianity and like religion, and he was like, he's like, yeah, I think religion's cool. He was like, I don't really believe in the church though. Like, he was like, I think religion should just be between you and like whatever you believe in. Yeah, and that kind of stuck with me. That's you know pretty I mean? good. Yeah. It's like, why do you have to go to church, dude? Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's like a super offensive question to ask. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's good, dude. My sister joined a church down in South Carolina. She said it's pretty sick. She's really? like, not like religious, but she's like, it's kind of sick. Like, she's like, it's kind of how you meet people and they just like play. There's, it's like a, she sent, she showed me a video of it, dude. It's just like a band. It's like a concert. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty insane. Yeah. I'm like, at one point, like I'm like, how is this dude, about yeah. God, dude? Oh, yeah. It's not even about that. Dude. It's not about that. It's about it's like, like oh, meeting hot bullshit. chicks that you like potentially fall in love yeah. with. Yeah. yeah. There are people who are like moshing, dude. Really? Fucking throwing their bras on stage. Holy I'm like, this shit. is just like the House of Blues in yeah. Boston. What That's sick, man. About? We should fucking go there then. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. Yeah, man. If you were like a pastor, like a female, that's one fucking thing is you never see like a female pastor. Yeah. Like, true. If there was a female pastor and like halfway through like a sermon, she just whipped out her fucking fat ass tits. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that would be sick. And, and invites, like, you know how they invite like people into the children on the altar during the sermon? Yeah. It's like sit around. She just invites like dudes to come up and like suck them. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, dude. You would increase numbers drastically. Drastically. The Catholic Church could fix a lot of problems if they just had like, you yeah. know how they have like the Mexican weather ladies? You just had those chicks with their tits out giving yeah. fucking sermons. Yeah, we should, dude. We should pitch this to like a town council. We should go to, we should go to fucking city hall in New York. Yeah, demand to be heard. We should write out like a, like a proposition. Yeah, like backwards. Yeah, and like mail it in. We should hire like a high powered attorney, <laughs> to like and like really sit down and like seriously yeah. propose <laughs> this to the city. Yeah, we could probably convince him. Yeah, you know, like a really fucked up church. Yeah, should be like, listen, you you guys are fucked anyway. Like right. you're going under. Like yeah. let's just try this out. Might as well throw you it know, against throw the a wall. hail mary. Yeah, she's like some three hundred pound chick <laughs> with like the hugest tits. <laughs> yeah, like we have a we have like a cat like a ca- casting call. <laughs> Stuttered like eighty times, dude. Thinking about the biggest tits of all time. Yeah, we just have the like. She looks like a female Buddha. And she just yeah. can barely. She's so fat she can't even move. You're thinking about Mexican tits, though? Mexican tits are the biggest of tits. Really? I don't think I've ever seen Mexican an tits. Old, I think, I feel like an old lady's Mexican, like an old Mexican lady's tits are, <laughs> like, serious, like, health detriment. Really? They get so yeah. big, yeah. I think we should get, like, a, like a, a retired, uh, you know, English Dude, teacher Mexican or something. Mexican tits? Dude, the biggest tits are, like, your old teachers from yeah, like middle school. Yeah, for get, sure. Get them, uh. Get the retired ones though. Yeah, you think they're gonna be Ms. super ba- nice, Ms. Barbara? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Those are the biggest tits. Yeah, dude. Also, bro, like, me- like Mexican women have the biggest turnaround. It's the biggest one eighty from like hot, like the hottest to like. I feel like it's just like <laughs> something happens. Yeah. They, gr- dude, they get they're like corn fed fucking. Yeah, they get put on a different diet or something. Yeah, dude. 
you want to know like what abuelo was like back in the day yeah dude, dude. yeah you see pictures and you're like holy shit dude. yeah yeah and then yeah, yeah you see pictures of them when they're young and you're like holy shit you look like selena or some shit yeah j-lo yeah and then she's just fucking gutted up <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ dude they get they get hefty yeah spanish girls man i looked into like a spanish girl's eyes today and I, i've never felt that way before where did you do that i was walking to, right, the, walking to the apartment oh really yeah, it was on the road and like we walked by and i was just, like i just looked into her eyes <clears throat> i've never seen anything like that before in my life dude. Really? it was just like uh like immediately like failure uh like i'm not worthy of this it was, it was immediately like that chick's gonna ruin so many dudes lives yeah like yeah they have dark brown eyes too yeah the darkest it's just the way they look at you you're kind of like okay like yeah i'm staying away from that i know but it's like some dude who doesn't know you know yeah he's going in dude dude when we were driving here i saw a fucking mexican guy with like you know how they have like the they have like the mexican uh like what's it called the haircut the what's the, the one that's like wicked popular right now with like it like comes out the back a mullet mullet dude he had a mexican <laughs> mullet and he was just like this like out of shape mexican dude and his chick had like the biggest fake ass i've ever seen yeah it was like right in Times square i was like dude it's insane man like dude there's a guy at the gym who so funny there's a guy at our gym who works there and he's just like this fat mexican dude with like tits yeah and his girlfriend's like a smoke dude oh yeah no he doesn't i think i know what you're talking about yeah dude i know who you're talking about yeah, he doesn't he, work there, I don't think. No, he does. He, he doesn't does? say hi to anyone. You just like walk in and he's just I've like, seen him there just working out. So maybe <clears throat> maybe just yeah. Maybe just I just saw yeah. him just working out. He like but, doesn't say anything. Bro, his wife is like it's like her anatomy is like unhuman. Yeah. It's like the funniest <laughs> looking thing. Yeah. And he just follows her around. I would too. I wouldn't want anyone near that dude. She has like a fucking six foot wide clearance just for her hips. Yeah. It's insane. That must be like a tough life. Yeah. You're just working at a front desk all day and like you're not greeting anyone. And then. Then your smoke show wife just comes in. Every guy just looking at her. And she's just doing that machine where she like they lay on her stomach and like curl their hamstrings. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're just doing hip thrusts, dude. You can see their fucking clam cakes. Yeah. She's like, holy shit, dude. You fucking smell it, dude. See like their pelvis turn. The fucking mirror across the room starts fogging up. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> it's a tough life man yeah man i wouldn't want it yeah this yeah i'd rather just have like a chick who like no one ever looks at right ever right you're just like yeah it's my fucking girl dude yeah like you don't even remember her name for the first five months you're dating yeah you know what i it's mean it's not even important dude no as long as she's there for me dude like, right yeah. <laughs> yeah dude that is uh like a very disturbing like thought process that we have though we're like we see chicks and we're like nah dude i'm not even gonna try yeah but they all have their like they're so shut off dude which i get man i get i get you ever just like look at them and they just like they don't even they're like not even a fucking real person yeah yeah. you know what i mean but like just like making that assumption right out of the gate and just being like nah man like i know you think yeah. we should do something about it? Probably not. That's no. what they want to join our cult. It's just like a you like signing a contract. What do you mean? Like if you, not that I would ever be in that situation, but like, you know, that's a long term investment, dude. With you a know girl, what I mean? with a girl like that. Yeah, I mean, dude, it would just be cool to like fucking like rip ass in front of a chick and be like, "Fuck my tits," <laughs> you know, like just let it all out. Yeah, and then yeah. just see what happens. I think that I think you got to do it with a girl like that. Yeah, yeah. You got to just fucking. <clears throat> blow farts on her huge fake tits yeah say that to her say yeah. i want to blow farts on. Your i see you on the stairmaster dude i just take that wooden pole just shove it up your ass and then fucking lick the end and then i look into her eyes with like wide eyes yeah <laughs> yeah dude just see what happens <laughs> dude take take the fucking kettlebells and just start fucking hucking them off yeah. the fucking top of the stairmaster <laughs> Yeah, man. Like, I don't know why we can't do that stuff, though. Like, we always talk about it. We just never fucking, we never do it. Oh, with girls? Yeah. It's like, dude, 
I think about it like if I'm it's ever we live out. in like the real world. It's like we like talk about this shit and then we go outside and we're like, all right, yeah, <laughs> like super respectful, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, like I'm just gonna fucking keep to myself. Yeah, but dude, we could be like some of the funniest people on the planet. If we yeah. like fucking went ham. Yeah, we talk the talk and we walk the walk. Dude. I think what that's what this is about. I think we gotta start doing that. Yeah, as long as like we're in regulation. Yeah, you know, if I took one of those wooden sticks at the gym and just started waving it everywhere. Yeah. I was like, yo, the fault you ain't doubting me. <laughs> <laughs> Just taking back and batting practice with a fucking mop handle. Yeah, you might get a warning, dude. But it's not. <laughs> Dude, I think I might, I might fucking quit that gym and join the rec center because they have a pool. The rec center? Yeah, there's a rec center in Queens. There's two of them. Really? Yeah, it's 150 a year what yeah dude yeah i dude i looked it up i like i was like this can't be real so dude they have like a gym and a pool it's 150 a year so i asked i'm like i'm gonna try to get out of the contract you have to like show that i told the guy i moved and he's like all right i need a piece of mail so i bought brought a piece of mail from home i'm just gonna show it to him and tell him i moved and then i'm gonna join the rec center have you gone on like a tour and seen nah no, nice, but dude, I'm gonna do that. First. I'm gonna do yeah. that first, obviously. Dude, there's probably like fucking shit in the pool and stuff like nah, that. Dude, I heard the rec centers are like mad nice. Really? Yeah, they're like top of the line. Jesus. So, dude, we should go. Have you and seen like fuck. any pictures we should or go anything? And jump in the pool with weighted vests <clears throat> immediately, dude. Our first second being yeah. there. What else do they have? Like, what are the amenities? I don't know. I haven't checked it out, but I think they have like. <laughs> you just went through all that and you have no idea. Like, no, nah, I looked online, dude. So you saw pictures? I know. I yeah. Kind of. This, the website's not very good. Dude. It's probably a scam. <laughs> Found it on Craigslist. Nah, I. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, they have a pool. They have like a gym, but like as far beyond that, I don't really know. Yeah. But like that's good. That's good right there. Yeah. I would love to start. Yeah, I feel like our gym's like pretty top notch, but. Yeah, but one fifty a year. It's like fucking. Yeah. Ten bucks a month, dude. Yeah, it's not bad. There's got to be plus a catch, like dude. you got to add on like rec rec center like violations. I'm going to be fucking sprinting around the pool. Yeah. Dude, that is kind of sick, though. A pool. Pool you know? would be nasty. Yeah. It's going to be disgusting in there, dude. Nah, I think it's probably sick. <clears throat> yeah. The only problem is, like, those places have, like, fucking... You want to swim in it, like, free swim hours or, like, for, like, fucking 10 minutes a day. Oh, yeah. That's it's probably the like, catch. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. They have, It's just, like, 50, like, old people doing fucking acro yeah. yoga. Dude, they have, like, a legitimate yoga. swim meet there, and you just jump in. I just jump in. <laughs> like, a fucking yeah. pop the pool. Yo, I'm a fucking Navy SEAL. <laughs> just drive a fucking monster truck into the pool. Yeah. That'd be sick, man. Even just to go out there for 10 minutes, dude. Just have your moment. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be nasty. I'd kill, like, fucking 30 people in the in the while I'm doing it. <clears throat> I just miss, like, the late night uh, late night hours, man. You know, oh yeah. Just to go to like uh, my buddy's twenty four hour gym, dude. It's nothing like it, man. Nothing, dude. Just listening to fucking till I collapse in the parking lot, <laughs> like drinking pre workout, like blow, for, blowing the speakers for an hour at like two a.m. Yeah, before you go inside. Then you go in there, dude. I used to go into, fuck, what was the name of that gym? I used to go in in the middle of the night because like I would I would sit in the parking lot in my car. <clears throat> I wasn't a member. I would sit in the park. <laughs> I'd sit in the parking lot in my car and look in through the glass window and like wait till the person at the front desk walked away. And then I'd fucking haul ass in. Really? Yeah. And one time the guy like followed me into the men's locker room and was like, did you scan in? And I was like, oh, no, I forgot. He's like, all right, just go scan in. And then I just walked out. Holy (laughs) shit. He was probably scared, dude. You think? Yeah. You just snuck into a gym, dude. Yeah. There's nothing to be scared about. dude. I'm trying to put up weights. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. There's, my... like, some crazy shit that goes down, though. Like, yeah. there's probably people, like, banging in, the, like, the sauna the and sa- stuff. Yeah, the fucking yeah. Uh, tanning bed at fucking 2 a.m. <clears throat> yeah, even in – that's, like, college, dude. That's, like, people sneaking into college, like, uh, dorm rooms and shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that shit was all the time. Dude, I used to fucking uh, – I used to jerk off in the shower in yeah. college. That's a te- that's terrible, dude. For yeah. That's such a selfish thing to do. <laughs> dude, I didn't want to jerk off in my dorm room. Why? Just wait till like I had three roommates, dude. Uh I didn't want quad. Do... You were in the quad. Yeah, I don't want to be like, hey boys, like spanking. <clears throat> Imagine that. I did it on like the orientation day. They're like with their families. Their families leave. Just immediately start jerking off. Jerking dude. it, dude. Yeah. That'd be sick. But dude, I was uh 
dude, this chick used to sneak in a dude in the dorm. Yeah. Didn't go to the school, like never checked in. Yeah. Bro, they like snuck into the boys fucking uh, like the showers. So, dude, I'm cranking one out. And I just hear people banging right next to me. Oh, really? Yeah, they were like banging in the shower, dude. That's pretty sick, though. Yeah, for sure, man. But yeah, dude, I remember. I remember one time in college, I was like talking to this girl, and like we we like tried to do that. We yeah. like went into the showers, <laughs> like try and like hook up or something, dude. Yeah. And then her friend was like, "Casey, get out of there!" Really? Yeah, and like came in and like dragged her out. Wow. Like, what the fuck, dude? She oh, wait, her friend did that? Yeah. Wow. So it wasn't even like security. No, it was her friend was like wow. screaming. She's like, get out of there. Jesus. I was like, yeah, I didn't like. It's a terrible friend, dude. Yeah. Jesus. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. It was insane, dude. <clears throat> yeah, dude. Banging and like. That girl smelled like she smelled fi- like she smelled fine. Yeah. But she has this like, I will never forget that. Like the, that girl's like perfume or whatever. Because anytime I smell it, it gives me like a bad memory. Oh, really? Yeah. I smelled That's it tough, on the man. train one time here yeah. and I was like. It fucking, I was spinning out, dude. Yeah, PTSD, dude. I fucking hijacked the train. Yeah. Yeah. That'll get you, man. The perfume, dude. Oh, I get that all the time, dude. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Fucking battlefield memories, dude. It's like, <laughs> coming. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I had like a, I dated like a solid 10 in high school and like into college and she had a Nasty. specific perfume, dude. And it really? smelled so good, dude. And whenever yeah. I smell it, I'm like. Oh, I just yell. Jeffrey. I yell her name, dude. <laughs> you yell Jeffrey. Yes, he got. It's not even her name. But. How'd you start dating her? Uh, one of my boys uh, dumped her. I fuck. I slid right in there. Damn, dude. dude that's a bad. That's move. the best time. Though. No, <laughs> no, dude. That's a terrible thing. <laughs> yeah, dude. Do. I was young, man. I was reckless, dude. Yeah, but I you, was feeling dangerous, dude. Do you think you've changed? For sure, would man. Would you do yeah. that now? No, dude. If I was dating a girl, would you be like? No. Yeah, what's up? That's super weird. Wakanda? That's super weird now. Dude, yeah. I was like 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Plus, she was like, you want to hang out and like go to Target and stuff? She had like double Ds, and I was like, dude. Obviously. A hundred, dude, it was 100%. Nothing about her personality, dude. Just all tits, tits. bro. Tits. Yeah. Yeah, it was, dude, they, they, have a, they have a power over a young man. Yeah. That's part of becoming a man is like trying to rise above Mexican tits. Yeah. Just, I think that's why Trump wanted to build the wall so bad. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, dude. I mean, like, if Marvel wants to, like, really—he's like, dude, we've had enough of these Mexican tits. We gotta keep them out, <laughs> yeah, dude. dude. They're ruining lives, man. <laughs> Serious, dude. Like, you know how many fucking tits have ruined lives out there? Oh, countless lives have been. That's ruined. what's fucked up about like, uh, fucking, uh, like Marvel movies and stuff. Like the the villain is always like, yeah, some hot chick. Yeah, it's like, dude, no, the villain's always like some fucking dude with like he's who's ugly. It's oh like, yeah, dude, true. <laughs> there should just be a villain that's just like literally just a massive pair of tits. Yeah. <laughs> That would be realistic. Yeah. Or they could easily defeat any villain with just one. The, you had like an Avengers, you had a <clears> super team. If they just added one pair of Mexican tits to the team, one lady with just fucking triple Ds. Yeah. She could easily it's just insane. defeat him. Some dude has like. She's not even dressed in a super suit. She's just like wearing like jeans. Yeah. She just walks in and like rubs his face. That's it, man. Yeah. That's it. That's all you need. Yeah, that guy has like a legitimate future, and he's like, "Nah, I can, yeah. I can chase my dreams like another day." Yeah, dude, a hundred percent. Yeah, dude, I was so bad at tr- like trying to ask girls out and shit. <clears throat> I would always like wait like fucking a year. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would never like. I don't know. I've never moved in on anyone, dude. Too scared. Yeah. Way too scared, dude. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to ask, man. I know. I can't even remember how I asked out my first girlfriend. Like, I dated a girl in high school, but I don't really count that. But my first serious girlfriend, I, I literally can't. I feel like I did something, something nice. Yeah. I mean, dude, at this point, man, I'm pretty happy that I'm just like, <clears throat> I know what tits are like, dude. Like, yeah. I've, I've studied them and I've lived through, like, generations of tits. Yeah. And I know that, like, I'm just not ready for that right now. Yeah. Like, if a girl was like, you want to take this to the next level, I would be like, I know what's on the table right now. Yeah. And I'm just not ready. Give me like seven more years. Do you think, though, that if she 
tried to entice you with her tits, you would be able to have hundred percent. Yeah, you would have the wherewithal and fucking self motivation to be yeah. like, "No, I'm good." But I'm hoping that she would have the self respect to not do that. But if she's smart, dude, all she would have to do is literally just show me her tits at like a Denny's. Yeah, and I would be like, "It's fine." Like, fuck my dreams. Like, we. You can- would. So you're. So you're saying. So you just a lot. Hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, I would be good. Like, I, I'm I'd prepped for the talk, but the right. physicality of it, But dude, once no now way. that I'm bringing it up and it's getting realistic and, dude, I, and I pressed you, like, in the slightest bit, you just, like, immediately folded. I mean, dude, imagine if you hit it off with a chick and you were like, <clears throat> listen, I'm focused on my dreams right now. Yeah. I don't want any part of this. Yeah. And she came to our apartment, walked in, and just whipped out her tits. Right. You're telling me you could be like, I'm not no. Saying, no, dude. Yeah, no guy would be like, no. But I don't know, man. I think I would be. Well, here's the <clears throat> difference, dude. And and I think this is like where we had like a, our disagreement. Like, I think that it's okay to have a girlfriend right now as long as like you are good about setting the tone about what it's going to be. Yeah. You'd be like, keep your tits out of it, lady. Because I need to follow my dreams. That's now, what you would tell. You would sit her down at the table. I would table. literally say, keep your tits out of this. Yeah. Sounds like a fucking 80s movie, dude. You're sitting, like, spark a marble yeah, at, at a diner. You're like, listen, hey. Listen, Janice. got fucking dreams, Jennifer. Jennifer, I got hopes and dreams. Yeah, keep your fucking taste out of this. I'm putting both your tits in this in my rear view. <laughs> yeah, dude. You're yeah. Like, next, when I wake up, I don't want to fucking see you or your tits here. Yeah. Uh, I'll fucking take a look at Lefty. Keep fucking right out of it. Yeah. Yeah. I handle one tit at a time. I I live my life <clears throat> one quarter tit at a time. Yeah. I would see that, dude, and I'd be like, you're fucked. Like, you just ruined your whole life. You think so? For sure, dude. Yeah. And then I just immediately fail at my dream. It's so funny, dude. Like, your first instinct is usually <clears throat> wrong. Pretty right. Oh. For sure. Especially me, dude. I'm like, oh, that dude's, he's whipped. He's fucked. But I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't. I'm not whipped like that, dude. I know. I'm just saying, like every time, I'm like, "Oh, this dude's, this dude's whipped." Yeah. I'm. Oh, like, you're right like about that. Ninety yeah. percent of the time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You just kind of yeah. like you've seen, yeah. you know, the movie play out, dude. Oh, and it's yeah. like they always reel you in, man. They're like, "No, nah, dude, nothing will change." You're I like, know. They slowly erode yeah. at you over time. Yeah, dude. We just need to like, you know, let loose a little bit, like once yeah. a month, man. Just drive around the block. Fuck. Be like, yo, I ain't chasing a bitch. I'm chasing a dream. <laughs> Walk into a Wendy's and fucking tell them that yeah. at the counter. I would love to be like a fucking thirty year old dude, like weed whacking, and tell someone that. Yeah. Someone's like, oh, like no girlfriend. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then fucking rev it back up. Yeah. And then just put it up against your fucking face. <laughs> Straight face. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <clears throat> I think that. I think that women like they. They. I don't even think they consciously do that. I think they just like. There's part something about them. They just have to do that to you over time. Yeah, for sure, dude. I always want more and more time. Yeah, I mean, dude, I think the first six months are like the best time of your life, and then afterwards, you're like, fuck, <laughs> every yeah, day, every day, you're just like, dude, you're like, God, fuck, yeah, yeah, and it's just like, you just, you just constantly, dude, having to go see their family and shit. Yeah. I feel like that. I don't mind that though. I think that's yeah. that's good to be honest. Like. Yeah, I feel like balance. I feel like I lose part of my personality though. Yeah, and then uh, it's like that and like losing weight, dude. Like if I lose weight, every pound I lose, I'm, I just feel like I'm losing like sense of humor, man. Really? Yeah, dude. For real? I just yeah, dude. I don't know. That's crazy. You know, why don't I, you blo- well, you should blow up, dude. Get huge. Yeah. Get it's, fat as fucking shit. Yeah. I just got to drink. You know, I got to fucking. Are eat you a trying lot. to get fat? I'm trying to get fucking huge, dude. Just I'm trying to get bigger than the sun. <laughs> Why, dude? Cause, dude, I want to be like some skinny fuck, man. Yeah, but you should. Yeah, but you if you get humongous, eventually that's gonna start negatively impacting your confidence. Yeah, no, I I meant like like jacked. Like I'm trying yeah, to get fucking like I'm trying to train like an athlete, dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then and then what? Just to have no use for it. <laughs> Just go on stage and start fucking ripping out military push-ups yeah. up against the fucking back wall. <clears throat> I think just being able to, like, yeah, I just would never want to be, like, some skinny fuck, dude. Yeah. Especially, dude, at this point in my life, like. Yeah, yeah. I know. mean, also, but, like, you have to, like, focus on, like, what's important, dude. Like, yeah. comedy, dude. Yeah. So that's literally all dude, it is. Dude, if you're fat, like, 
you're already like you already have an edge over yeah. like half the competition. Dude, you know what I've been thinking about lately? Dude, I've been thinking about like uh if there's like so you know how there's like a funny like in every group of friends there's like a really funny friend. Yeah. I'm thinking like so that like must be true of like terrorists also. So I've been thinking about just like for like five days straight, I've been thinking about like if like a funny terrorist. Like if there's just one in like and he's like just like sneakily has his nutsack out in the background of like a beheading video. Mm -hmm. And like everyone just like thinks it's pretty funny. Yeah. Just dying laughing. They might have like a different sense of humor though. I don't know, dude. I think terrorists have a sense of humor. This is like what yeah. I've been thinking about, man. I think so. <laughs> I've seen some videos of them like playing pranks on each other. Yeah. Have you see this video is fake, but have you seen the one where it's like fucking like African like militia men and they give a fucking AK forty seven to a monkey? He just starts fucking <laughs> yeah. rapid firing, dude. Yeah, that was definitely. A fucking yeah, it's thing. fake, but that's yeah. so funny. Yeah, but I've seen videos, dude. Yeah, I've just seen movies, man. I've never seen like <clears throat> them in real life. Videos be... of terrorists. Yeah, like in the movies. Yeah, and like they never find anything funny. Yeah, you know, there's usually like some guy who tries to be funny, and they're like, "Oh, you think? Oh, think you're the, fucking funny, in dude." In the movie. Yeah, and then they just kill his whole family. Yeah, but he's not a terrorist, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, he'll. You know, yeah, he'll say something funny. Yeah, you know, he's just like trying to like crack a joke, and they're like, "You just oh, and then they and then they like punch. Yeah, they like, like punish him. Like, boom. Yeah, yeah, just blow up his fucking house, dude. They're yeah, like, but that's the movies. I feel like in real life, you'd be dude. If you were if they were like torturing you, you just fucking ripped ass. Yeah, they'd have to fucking laugh, dude. Yeah, I feel like that would be funny to be in like the back of a car with like a gang, <clears throat> just getting high. Yeah, just yell something funny, dude. <laughs> Tits? Yeah. <laughs> if you're on like the way to a drive by. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like yeah. legitimately high. Yeah, yeah. Like holding a gun. Yeah, no. And then you dude, and you're you're driving and you yeah. go you like turn back to the boys and you're like, Don't fire until my command. Yeah. And then you roll down by with the window on and you just go, Fucking Show me your fucking pussy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. And then they like, they about. like, they're like, was that the command? Yeah. And, then you, <laughs> yeah. and you just fucking pop off. Dude. Yeah. You're like not even close to the drive by. You don't. <laughs> you you drive by. You scream that, and you don't give the. You just keep driving, dude. Yeah. Dude, gangs in Chicago. Instead of doing drive, they should do like drive by, like shit like that like insults and like weird shit yeah if i was in the back seat dude and like we weren't even close to the drive-by yeah we're going by like a david's bridal yeah i'm like yo hold my dick while i shoot faggot <laughs> just shoot the fucking ceiling yeah <laughs> dude we should make us a, a, a video a sketch video. have you ever seen the videos dude rear dan reardon used to be wicked into these videos he would always show me them like the gangs and shit in like Chicago, before they go kill people, they go on IG live and they're like, yo, I'm in your hood. Jeez. Like, where are you at? And then they'll be yeah. like driving around. And they'll be like shooting people and like on IG live the whole time. So like we should make an IG live where we're like, we're going to fuck you drive by. <laughs> we just fucking scream fucking pussy tits at someone. <laughs> <laughs> fucking take off. Yeah. I want to make a sketch where it's like, it's like end of watch type vibe. Like, we're all in, like, a... What's that movie? Dude, it's the best movie ever. It's, like, a cop movie. I, figured, I don't Two think cops. I've seen it. Oh, dude. You would... I uh, Maybe you I would, have. Dude, you would jerk off to what? end of watch. Why? Dude. It's Why? literally... It spells out your name, dude. How? <clears throat> Just watch it, dude. You'll be like... You'll cry. Dude, I cried when I watched it. Really? Yeah. It's, like, one of the best movies ever. All right. Especially, like, a cop movie. It's about a cop and, like... It's about two cops. One cop dies, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> all right, there we go, dude. But it's... It's fucking riveting, man. Yeah. But I want to make a sketch where it's like, we're about to like... Uh, it's called End of Cox. Yeah. It's like really dark vibes. Like there's like emotional music in the background. We're in like my fucking Honda Accord, dude. Yeah. We're about to do like a, a drive-by. But it's like actually like a dare commercial. We're in like a McDonald's drive through Okay. You know what I mean? Like we're saying our last goodbyes. Yeah. I'm like, yo, you remember that fucking time? And you just start crying. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like, can I take your order? And that's that's that that's a ends. sketch. Yeah, you get like four bad. views, dude. But it would be, it'd be worth, it'd be, it would be good. worth it, dude. Yeah, dude, you made a sketch, dude. If you're listening, fucking go check out Salami <laughs> Sketch, dude. You made a fucking feature length film. Oh yeah, pretty fuck my tits. It's called Fuck My Tits. It's pretty sick. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Nasty. Yeah, yeah. That's what we gotta do. We gotta start doing shit like that, man. 
I think we made it. I want to do like sketch. I want to do like beautifully shot, like cinematic masterpieces <laughs> that just make absolutely no sense. Yeah, dude. Like that's that's all it is, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Remake like Pulp Fiction, but just with like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, the thing like <laughs> nowadays, you have to be like wicked, you know, quick. Like you can't ha- like make a long. Yeah. Because people like want shit right away. Oh yeah. yeah. So you it's can't. like you have to make a reel or something like that. It's like a yeah. minute long. No, that's gay. Yeah, that's gay. You could pack a lot in like a minute though. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Have it make zero sense like yeah. whatsoever. Just like <clears throat> thirty different shots at once. Yeah. I'm down. We got to do that. I have to take like a few classes, but. <laughs> Not dude. We'll figure it out, bro. Dude, I went. I just forgot to tell you this, but I went to, I went home to celebrate my birthday. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like one of the best weekends of my life because I had like all those shows and stuff. And I was like, oh, this is going to be like a good weekend. You always build shit up, dude. For sure. Yeah. Just let me fucking. All right. Got it. <laughs> dude. So like uh, Wednesday, I bomb Thursday. I bomb uh, Friday. I had like a, a really fun show. Where was that? Uh, at the George in Providence. Ah, nice. Yeah. It was just like a bunch of fun. Yeah. And I had nothing to do afterwards. So I'm like texting like my childhood friends like, yeah. hey you guys want to grab a drink like <clears throat> people either like didn't answer or they were like i can't tonight man i'm sorry yeah and i, I specified i was like dude i'm like in town for like one more day yeah, you know, yeah like it's my birthday like i would love to just hang out with someone yeah dude so i ended up doing nothing went back to this red roof in plus so yeah. i was saying that dude Nasty. and i was just laying in bed dude and i legit thought about ordering hookers sick i looked into it yeah i was like oh, what dude. was like the like process for like Did you just google like hookers i went on reddit i was like where do you find hookers <laughs> and then i found the site <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah dude. And it was like uh it was like legit hookers they, like in pro were you like in like providence or where were you staying i was in fucking mansfield massachusetts oh shit really yeah i know nice dude so it wasn't like a bad red roof in. Nah. It was fucking terrible, but it was like yeah. for a red roof in, dude. Yeah. It was like top it's a red roof in plus. Yeah. That's what What's I'm the plus for? It's like plus hookers. I guess you just like don't get fucking AIDS. Like it's I don't like know, dude. Plus the pressure. Smells. It smells so fucking bad, <laughs> right, dude. It's like sticky, dude. I was like, yeah. fuck, man. But dude, I like literally looked in. I was very close. Yeah. If it wasn't for the price, like seven hundred dollars for an hour, I would have been like, all right. Dude, Let's make man, it happen. Man, yeah, way too. So much like, dude, fun. it's like my birthday. Like, I'm not doing anything. I'm at a red roof in. Might as well bust out, dude. <clears throat> what were you like? What What were you like looking for in a woman? I was just looking at their profiles, see what, like what, what my caught, options were. Yeah, like what caught? What were the things that like caught your attention? None of them. Really? It's a reason I didn't get them. <laughs> it was like seven hundred dollars, and like yeah, just, it was just like chicks were like, yeah, you know, I have like four kids. Yeah. And they had like tattoos on their face, and I was like, I mean, like, probably get robbed. Yeah, but anyway, the next night, finally, one of my friends was like, dude, you know, I'll hang out with you. And I was like, all right, cool, man, yeah, in Boston. Yeah. So I went to Seaport, yeah. which is very nice, and he lives, like, right there. So it's, Sick. like, beautiful. Yeah. So we ended up going out <clears throat> over by, like, Hideout, yeah. next to Hideout. Uh, what's the bar next to Hideout? It's, like, a- uh, Patios or uh, Bell and Hand. Bell and Hand. Hand, yeah. Dude, so we're drinking at Bell and Hand, which is kind of like a college bar. Yeah. <clears throat> and there's just like hot chicks everywhere. Yeah. Fuck and that. Uh, fuck that. Another dude that I I used to work with uh, found out I was in the city. So he comes. So I'm with my, ch- like one of my childhood best friends. Yep. And just a dude I used to work with. Like they don't know each other. It's tough. That's tough. Yeah. But we ended up having like a decent time. Yeah. You know, we're just talking about like tits and stuff. Yep. And it's like one in the morning and I'm like, you know, I see like a th- I see like three hot chicks in front of us, and I'm like, all right, guys, like I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna make a move, like I'm gonna I'm gonna go in, you know what I'm saying? And they're like, all right, man, like good luck, whatever. So I'm walking towards this chick, and another chick walks by. She's wearing a red dress, and I look at this chick, and then I look at the chick I'm about to hit on, and she gives this chick in the red dress literally like the most disgusting look I've ever seen in my life. Really? Like, she was like. It because o- it the was chick like, knew that you were going up to talk to her. No, she, dude, she had no idea. I was just walking towards her, and she saw the chick in the red dress and looked at her as if, like, she killed her whole family. Whoa. So in my head, 
I was like, oh, it'd be funny to like make a joke out of this. So I walk up to the chick I'm trying to hit on. Yeah. And I was like, hey, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> why, 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 and, uh, why would you dude, think that's a good idea? This chick was so confused, bro. She was like, yeah, literally so didn't say anything just made a confused face like fuck off yeah and i was like oh she probably didn't hear me i was like that, <laughs> i was like that's my girlfriend that just walked by the one that you gave it uh, like an ugly look to yeah and again dude just the most disturbed face ever like didn't say anything yeah and uh dude that was the first time in my life i actually walked away and i uh, i walked up to the boys and i was like you guys want to get out of here? Yeah. Like, I was like, you guys want to at least like go downstairs, man. Like I just took a hard L. Yeah. You know, I'm not feeling get, too good get right get now. The fuck out of this world. So do we go downstairs mm -hmm. and we're like talking and stuff. And I see the girl with the red dress nice. coming down the stairs. You go, you walk up, you go, Hey, you're my girlfriend. Dude. It was a, a fully grown man in a red dress. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, this dude looked like you. Like I swear to God. Holy shit, yeah. dude. It was insane, dude. Whoa. I saw that and I was like, like I might need like professional help. Yeah. Yeah. Was he wearing a dress? Yeah, it was a, it was a legitimate so drag. You, so from from that uh, from that girl's perspective, she was just standing there and saw a man wearing a dress <laughs> and then saw <laughs> an autistic linebacker approaching yeah. her and said, "Hey, that's my girlfriend." Yeah. And I was like, I was adamant dude i was like that's my girlfriend yeah like we're, we've been dating for a while yeah what the fuck dude i only saw the the the, the, the dress yeah. i didn't see anything else you were zoned in i was zoned dress. in dude you were I looking at like the small of her back it was all it was all instinct dude yeah <clears throat> but dude it was like <clears throat> it was like this legitimately like hairy dude I, he didn't actually look like you i was being a dick but like yeah. dude I'm trying to like paint a picture of what this dude looked like. Yeah. Dude, like a four inch nose. Yeah. Like body hair, short. Dude, it was it was bad. Yeah. Like it wasn't like a it wasn't like a trans woman. Yeah. It was a legit drag. Yeah. It was a dude in a dress. Yeah. 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 So that girl was, was like so confused. Yeah. I don't think I had a chance anyway, but dude, one time, <clears throat> uh, I don't think I, I don't think I told you this. I don't know. Uh, one time I was in this is like last year. I was on a bachelor trip in Florida and uh, I fucking we were at this bar and um, there were these group of like there was like this group of like older like black dudes that were there at this like pretty busy bar. It was like sick. There's like outdoor area, whatever. And like we were talking to them for like a long time in the night. They were like just like mad cool. They're definitely like they were all like, dude, they were in their 60s and like jacked. They're yeah. like the man. And so the waitress, one of the waitresses is like wicked cute. And we're going to leave. We're like going to go to a strip club, I think. So I'm like, <clears throat> we're going to leave. And I'm like, all right, I got to like go get this girl's number. So then I walk past the guys. I'm like fucking shit cocked <laughs> at this point, dude. Yeah. I'm like, I walk past the guys and uh, they're like, where are you going? I was like, oh, I'm going to get that waitress's number. It's in like a, it's in like a room over the, the waitress. They're like, hell yeah, brother. Get it. They're like, bring me in. They're like, one of the old black dudes is like, dude, you just got to be confident, dude. Oh, pure confidence. And I was like, fuck yeah. But yeah. like hyped me the fuck <clears throat> up. So I like walk in. I like walked up to her. I forget what I said. I made some stupid joke. And I was like, yeah, like we're going like wherever. But like, uh, I was just wondering. I was like, had my beer in my hand. I was just wondering. I was like, I was just wondering like what you're like doing later after this. And as I like said that, dude, the beer fucking fell it was a glass bottle fell out of my hand dude slipped because the condensation hit the ground it it the way it was angled dude one spout of beer <laughs> came up and hit me from the ground dude <laughs> directly in the face oh, shit. and she was like she was just like yeah i'm like going home <laughs> yeah. and dude everyone in the bar saw and dude <laughs> Everyone was like, dude, it was like quiet, bro. Jesus. And I was yeah. just like, fuck. Dude, somehow the bottle didn't break. I yeah. picked it up. It was like foamy as shit. I was hammered. I was like stumbling, dude. I tried drinking it. I just walked past the black guys. You're like, they're like, yo, brother, what's good? They're like, you get a number, kid? I was like, nah, man. 
I was like, I dropped my beer and it fucking oh, hit me dude. in the face. And yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, you were just like bro. that shitted or it happened on. I don't know if it was like it was like <clears throat> partly maybe I was like a little drunk. Partly I was fu- uh, it was unlucky, yeah. dude. But it it shot up and fucking smoked me. Yeah. As I'm like standing this far from the girl. Yeah, that's why people are like. You and know. I think she like liked me before that. That's why I like walked up yeah. to her, and then it just all completely. It's amazing, my world man. Like what erupted. alcohol can do to you, dude. It's insane. It's insane. Yeah, it's insane what you think's happening and what's yeah. actually happening. Dude. I thought I was like calm, like suavely approaching her, oh, but yeah, I yeah. probably looked like a fucking retard, dude. Yeah, yeah. If I go fucking <laughs> Cindy, it says like Tammy on her name tag. <laughs> yeah. We get, let's get out of here, girl. Bang. Yeah. 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 And then you think about like how much you actually drank. Like, dude, I took like two shots of tequila. I had like six vodka sodas. Yeah. I was probably like, yo, it's my fucking girlfriend. You probably like weren't even like, you were probably yeah. talking to like a mirror. Yeah. And like to yourself. Legitimately. You yeah. You thought yeah. you were talking to a girl. The guy in the dress <laughs> probably never existed in the first yeah. place. Yeah. Dude, I remember like, uh, even when I was in college, I used to get like sloshed. And I yeah. remember I was talking to this chick, like, dude, a wave of confidence came over me. And there was this chick in like a jean jacket and jean. I felt like I was in fucking Top Gun, dude. And uh, we were playing pool, dude. That's legit. Top and I was Gun. literally like, yo, watch this fucking shot. <laughs> literally, like, I would like miss the fucking ball by like four inches. Yeah. And I remember specifically, like, Nah, dude, like, you got this. Like, next shot, dude, I, I couldn't hit the ball. Like, yeah. That's how fucked up I was. Yeah. But, like, in my head, I was like, nah, dude, like, you're going to crush this, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I I remember playing pool one time. There was, like, with, like, my boy, and there were, like, these, like, girls watching. Dude, I was, like, in my head, I was like, dude, you just got to hit it as hard as you fucking can. Yeah. Because, like, what, like, I thought that was, like, good. Dude, I just fucking wound up. I fucking, dude, hit the the cue ball off the table just like rolled to the other side of the room i was like i, I gotta yeah. go home just tearing up the carpet <laughs> <laughs> just like smashes a fucking mirror that would be that would be so funny if you tore up the fucking fabric <laughs> <laughs> like you miss with the fucking pool stick and just fucking dig it into the felt yeah yeah man alcohol's not good dude it's, it's just not like good. it's literally just like people who are on the same wavelength yeah, yeah. If they you're near also, someone that's not on the same wave, dude, it's like, yeah, fuck, man. Dude. It's so bad, dude. Yeah. It's so bad. It would be nice to just, like, have a few beers and be, like, chill, but yeah, it's never going to happen, dude. Yeah, not with you, dude. <laughs> you go zero to a thousand, yeah. dude. Can't help it, bro. Yeah. What do you think we're after time, dude? Yeah, we're almost there, bro. Let me call it. Right. Um, fucking, yeah. All that shit. Like, subscribe, follow the podcast. Guys, comment. Comment and we'll shout you out next week. I'll read your comments, whether it's good or bad. We'll see. All right. Um, Uh. Yeah, follow us, I guess. I don't fucking know. Whatever, dude. All right, bye.